Another 300 migrants are expected to be released in El Paso today, bringing the number of releases as of Sunday to more than 1,300. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Safert live at the Annunciation House in downtown El Paso, where a news conference wrapped up a little while ago. The director of the Annunciation House says his long-term goal is to be able to house and send off 3,000 migrants a week, but they're not there yet, and they're scrambling in the last few days. Director Ruben Garcia says for years he's had communication with ICE, which has let him know when migrants will be dropped off. But Sunday night's release of about 430 people caught him off guard. He tells us they are having to resort to booking hotel rooms, which is costing Annunciation House 150 thousand dollars a month all paid for by donations here's what he's calling on ice and cvp to do upon ice and calling upon cvp to commit themselves to ensuring that never again will families be released to the street that that becomes something that is never again used that that becomes something of the past Apart from these group releases, Garcia says they also get calls about single releases, many of them pregnant women. Now, Garcia not only calling out um, ICE and CBP, but local elected officials and Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. His message for them coming up at 6. Live in downtown El Paso, with Stephanie is safe for KTSM 9 News. Hi, right, Stephanie, thank you very much. We have a look at the number of migrants released in El Paso over the last few days. This is all according to Annunciation House. 430 were released on Sunday night, 197 on Monday, 181 on Tuesday, Christmas Day, 522 yesterday, and the 320, as Stephanie mentioned, are expected today.